the lacerated sky. Something, something, something. Now I shall rain the blood. Well, that was quite the episode of Attack on Titan, episode 86. Fuck, I can't wait until the next one. I don't think it's going to be next week. I think it's going to be on the 3rd, I think. Oh, man, that's going to be weird. I know the manga's been over for a little bit, but, like, you know, the anime was the real big thing. Like, it is, it, it is, like... I very much remember when I was in high school, like, the it, was the it was the fall after the summer in which season one ended of that year, 2013, and, like, there being, like, a definite change in people in my high school actually caring about an anime for the first time, as opposed to me and my couple of friends being the only weirdos into anime. Um, Attack on Titan is a big fucking deal. Oh, like, holy shit, I have this, like, raggedy-ass old... Attack on Titan casual male XL t-shirt from back on my ye old man days, or rather when I was a teen boy, I guess. And, oh my god, it just, it's just so weird to think that now that the anime is about to be over, it's almost like this is the last ride, last rotation around the wheel. And one of these last little spins on that wheel with this episode was quite, holy fuck. Not the amount of, oh my god, oh my god, fucking R.O.T.F. LOL, holy shit, what the fuck, uh, you know, kind of feelings that earlier in the season had, like, when the fucking rumble happened, oh my god, fucking holy shit. Um, but this episode focused on them finally leaving the port, killing the absolute fuck out of, out of everyone there. And, you know, we get to see the new Beast slash Jaw Titan combo from Falco, who looks like some weird Tengu Titan or something. Or or um, or um if anyone used to read Toriko back in the day, they kind of remind me of like one of them big furry beak dudes, the robot android gourmet whatever things or something. They're kind of like, yeah, like they're sort of like not quite... But like the whole sort of feathery chicken body with the human skin and and the and the mask like big beak tooth mouth thing over the regular mouth, it's just it's it, yeah really cool bird perp per, perpin yes bird person costume, and very good very good Titan design, um, but whatever, yeah um, <laughs> I, uh, I I you know I I would make a joke here about Falco biting off a bit more than he could chew, but he could chew Galliard quite well, lol. <laughs> Some other highlights include Mikasa fucking chopping the fuck out of the motherfuckers on the roof, wiping that bitch's blood off her face, fucking god damn that was cool, all the blood coming down, fucking as per my Slayer joke earlier. Oh, that was good shit. And then the, spoilers, plot twist that Shadis was the one that blew the fuck out of that train of reinforcements. And his sort of, like, like moment with McGath when they fucking sacrificed themselves to blow the shit out of that ship. Oh, man, that was fucking, that, that was, like, oh, man, this fucking episode had some real fucking heartstring pulls. And it, it is kind of, you know, fucking sad to see McGath and Shadis realizing, oh, no, we were kind of asshole military, like, general dad people, but we really wanted these kids that we decided to throw away to war, like, you know, we wanted them to have a normal life and shit, and, you know, maybe, maybe Jadis, you know, it goes off a little bit better, considering the fact that McGath literally sent kids to their fucking death to fucking, uh, kill the fuck out of the Eldians, but the point, like, the Eldians on Ellen, on Paradis, rather, but it's like, eh, it's like, yeah, they just, they just had a good moment together, and honestly, Shadis and fucking Magath, now that's what I call OTP. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if they're going to be able to do much about Aaron, but next episode, when it airs, I think maybe it's the third when that airs, not next week, obviously. But, uh, yeah, it was, fuck, it's, it's, it's coming down to the wire. It's, 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 yeah, it's the final countdown, you could say, maybe, perhaps. Yeah, it was a pretty good episode. 
now in other updates. In the first episode, I teased that I was going to talk about Chainsaw Man, and I still am. It's just that I don't know really what I want to do if I want to go ahead and do what I said and talk about it, because I have the you know, first nine volumes, and I fucking love Chainsaw Man. But I don't know if I should, like, say, review them like that, and then just review the last two volumes of Part 1 when they separately come out. Or if I should just wait a, a pretty little good while and, like, maybe wait until fucking they're all out or whatever. Because, but, like, the, the volume 11 isn't coming out till June here. And while technically I guess I could read it, I don't want to do scanlations and I don't subscribe to Shonen Jump, so, or whatever, and I don't know how they're... Maybe I can... There's free back issues? I don't fucking know. I'd rather just wait for the volume releases, anyway. I think I probably will just talk about the first nine volumes, but I want to do it right, because Chainsaw Man just fucking means a whole shit of a lot to me right now, because as someone who's been reading Shonen manga for a very, 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 very long time, oh man, it fucking... It sparks some things in me. It fucking... It fucking gets me, man. In other sort of updates, um, there will probably be something else that I'll probably just randomly talk about for the next episode after this. But for, or maybe not, I don't know. But on Trans Day of Visibility, not this coming Thursday, but the Thursday after, I'm going to be seeing a friend of mine who is a trans warlock of sorts, who, who literally refers to himself as such who is a really cool dude and writes some cool fiction and makes some cool D&D adventures that they've ran for me and others in the past. And there's the really fun guy. And that'll be something to look forward to. And <clears throat> it won't be up on the day of trans visibility, but that's the day that I'll be recording on. So, like, that'll be something in the works. Now that I've had at least one, and now I guess this is the second one, under my bell, it's like, you know, birth is painful, so this is me trying to, like, almost like, I'm like, like, visually, like, or not visually, audibly, I'm like, like a thing of single cells sort of grouping together in your brain, listener that listens to this. Like, my show hasn't fully, like, congealed into its true shape. It is now in that sort of middle stage, kind of like whenever, say you pick out a scab, and you feel that sort of clear white well not white it's not like it's fucking jizz or something <laughs> jesus that sort of clear sort of cell material where like your your cells are starting to replicate and shit and heal the wound that's like right under a scab or something it's like that i'm like a non-spoogified blob of mitoplasmic cells or something trying to form to the best shape for your audible brain and also, uh, for me anyway, this audible edit that I just had to do because of something falling down behind me. But, um, I've been just sort of on my own, doing nothing, learning some new-ish music. I've been tinkering around with trying to learn the solo for Holy Diver by Dio because I, I've been... I've been, well, learning guitar for almost a whole year, and I've transitioned from learning only 70s music to now learning 80s music, and yeah, man, and I fucking, it's good shit. Guitaring is like, I've played many games, tabletop games in my time, and while winning isn't everything, winning is cool, but it's not guaranteed, but whenever I play my guitar, I fucking win, man, and, because it just, it just makes me feel good and shit. And I've been learning some other shit, like uh, I now know Breaking the Law by Judas Priest and Bad Reputation by Joan Jett. So, yeah, I'm just a guitar and lich that has no subject for this podcast today because, well, Chainsaw Man is just too fucking good to not waste the time to talk about. I guess I could end this podcast by talking about a really fucked up story that apparently happened in history or something. Um, now, this isn't a literal fucking adaptation of the events, because this is me second-hand or third-hand or fourth, fifth, sixth, or I don't know, 69th hand, I don't fucking know. <laughs> um, hearing about it from, like, the other day on YouTube when I watched the extra credits, extra history video about it, about this fucking lady or whatever that at some point... Like, 
claimed that she had birthed live rabbits, or not live rabbits, but, like, apparently they were, like, fucking, like, she gave birth to skinned rabbit, like, butchered rabbit pieces and shit, and apparently out of probably, at least in our understanding of, like, mental health, some serious trauma was, like, like basically gaslit by her mom or something into shoving like butcher rabbit pieces up her uh, up her pussy and fucking popping them out and pretending that she'd given birth to them for some to this day quite unknown reason and like apparently she got an infection from the claws and sharp bones and it's like oh god damn what the fuck do you have to do oh fuck um yeah, fucking shoving dead rabbits up your pussy. Apparently her name was Mary Toft or something. Oh man, that's fucked up. Um, I personally have only ever given birth to live rabbits. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's how we're going to end off the last day of winter and shit and whatever. Um, let me go ahead and... And pull out our, our now still tradition because I've declared it so. Your horoscope, your five card horoscope for, I guess, watching this horrible podcast? I don't know. The first card is the devil. The next card, the three of cups. The next card. The inverted ten of wands. The fourth card. The queen of wands. Which personally is the card that I represent myself with. And then all of them are bound by the fifth card. The high priestess. Mmm, quite the fortune there for the final day of winter. Though, don't be worried about the whole devil card. The devil card is a faux pas when it comes to shit like that. Usually cards that represent death for me anyway are things like, I don't know, fucking the, the four or five of swords or whatever, I think. I can't remember which one it is. The one that's like fucking where it's like the, the grave of the knight and shit like that. And he's holding a sword and then there's three or four swords on the, on the wall. That's the card that for me signs true death and shit like that. But, um, but we didn't get that one, so I guess thank goddesses, but whatever. Um, yeah, so that's your horoscope. Happy spring equinox. Stay safe. And this is me signing off. So you no longer have to sit your lich ass down. Huh? <laughs>